Welcome back to Messy Desk Productions. Okay, so we have a garage. Most people park their car in the garage. Me, I don't like to park the car in the garage. I like to use the garage space for other things, such as, you know, a pool table or air hockey, something fun. So we'll fill up the garage with tools and games and things for fun. But we like to have covered parking because where I come from, it rains a lot. So we're going to build a carport for our garage. The first thing we're going to do is lay our garage on its backside so that the garage door faces up. As you, as you can see here, we have the primrose attached to the top of the garage. So we have this little gap here so we can measure where the carport needs to start. So we put the piece of board in and measure how long it needs to be and how wide it needs to be. Of course we use a pencil to mark our measurements there and then again we use the Dremel tool to cut off the extra sides. The next thing we do is we glue on two support beams so that we have one edge that's going to be glued on to the top of the garage and then the other edge of the carport will have the support beams to keep it even. The next step is we put it on top of the garage, put it in place, make sure that our measurements were correct and accurate, that both support, support beams touched the ground and that the wood is straight. If it's not, we go back and sand it down until it's even. So you see here the carport is in its proper place. Now that we know that the measurements are accurate, we need to put some color to it. So we took it outside, we used gray primer to just prime it down and give it an, an even coat of primer. The next thing we did was we put a second coat of primer on it which made it look like a fresh slab of concrete. Me personally, I'm afraid of heights and I plan to turn the top of the carport into a balcony. So I wanted to make sure it was something solid and sturdy. I think concrete is good enough to stand on top of without being fearful of falling. So now we want to give a little color to the support beams. We're going to paint them white. Here we are painting. And voila, we have a painted carport. Of course, it's upside down. So we wait for the paint to dry, we flip it over, we put it on top of the garage, and there we go, we have it in place. And here's our finished product. Now we have a finished carport. 